Hey guys, ever since Astrid shut down, or was announced it was shutting down, I've been looking for a different to-do list manager. Um, the one I've settled on for the moment is AnyDo. Uh, I'm showing you here on my, my Nexus 7 rather than my phone, mainly because I use the one on my phone, it's got loads of stuff on it and I don't want to mess about with that necessarily, so I've just set up a, a fresh one. Um, you can see I've put a few different items in, Just they just all automatically drop in today, so if I put in something like book holiday. Um, now I can share that with oh, I can share that with other people. To be honest I've never really used that aspect. Um, I can change. So if I for example I need to send Flossie her birthday card but I need to post it by let's say Monday. I can go to Monday and I can put a time 10 o'clock. A reminder was added. So that's now moved Flossie's birthday card into the upcoming area. If I wanted to add sort of notes or even like subtasks, so it might be by stamps, check address. Oopsie. So those are now sort of subtasks within. You don't see them appear instantly, you have to go into the, the notes area, but I can cancel it. So if I buy stamps, I can swipe across and that crosses it off the list. I think that will stay there until I sort of either tap on that delete thing, um, or I think there is somewhere there's an option just to remove all completed tasks. Um, let's say I'm thinking I'm going to wash the car tomorrow, so I want to specifically remind myself tomorrow. That's fine, 9 o'clock in the morning is fine. That's now, as you can see, has moved into tomorrow. Uh, upcoming is for events that do have a set reminder, um, but they're not, in, in, they're not today, they're not tomorrow, therefore they're upcoming. Someday, now I can hold and drag things, I could put that in upcoming, I could put it in tomorrow, even though it's not got a time reminder, I can put them into these different areas. And I'm going to put it into someday. Someday, I must remember to win the lottery. So, that's for just, well, you know, well, obviously that's not a decision. Oh, I think I'll win the lottery today. Um, that's for something that you might kind of just think, oh, one day I'd like to, you know, climb Mount Everest, drop it into someday. So it doesn't give you reminders ever, it just kind of sits there as, you know, don't forget these are things you want to do at some point. Um, now, what I quite like about this, apart from this, it's all very nicely presented, it's, it's nice and sort of clean looking, we get different... We have different themes, I'll show you that very quickly. Uh, there we go. So we can have a, a dark theme. Uh, let's have a, a look at some of the other settings. So we can have different folders as well. You can have personal work, uh, obviously other whatever, bike, home, family, <coughs> whatever you might want. Um, you can have it to ask about when you have a missed call, do you want to make uh, a, 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 an item for that? I want to shake his first day Sunday, thank you. There we go, so done tasks, delete all. Obviously, we've, I've already deleted one that I did, so that's already done. Um, then, what I, what I particularly like, oh, you can sync, so you log in with your email address, uh, or you set up an account with your email address, and it will sync it for you. So, I've specifically not done that here for the reasons I mentioned earlier. Um, but you could have it running across different application, uh, different devices, and also there's a there's a Chrome extension on your computer, so you can have your to-do list on your browser if you so wish. But one that I quite like. Now I've only got two two things. There's two dots. The first one's drop down. Look, make any do video. I say actually, I've done that. Well, I'm doing it, but book holiday. So you could either say, yeah, I better do that today. And it'll say, okay, what time do you want reminding? Or oh, remind me at four o'clock. Remember to smile. So now you can see the make and do video is crossed out. It won't, it won't, on the end of the moment, it won't do me so. Let me move some of these things back into delay and we'll just look at some of the options when we do the any do moment. Now the any do moment comes up automatically. I think somewhere you can tell it when you want it to. Does this just run it? Yeah, here we go. So you can say what days you want it to do to pop up and at what time. So this is set for nine o'clock, pop-ups are on, but I can also start any do moment now, look. 
So now I've got all four things. So on my, on my phone, work phone, it actually wraps around the screen a lot, a lot some days. So win a lottery, and actually, I'll do that later. So then we get tomorrow, in two days, next week, or someday. Yeah, I'll do that someday. So I've moved, <laughs> I dropped it into today, I've moved it back to someday. Wash car, oh no, I'm going to do that. Two days time. Sand faucet, oh yeah, I need to do that today. Now, I think, because there was no time set to it, because I moved it back in. So for example, this one, book holiday today, if I say today, it's, oh no, it's already got a time, sorry. So because it knows it's four o'clock, it says fine, we're doing that today. Then we go back so we can see the any the videos done. Wash car, win lottery are back in. So wash car I said in two days time, so it's gone into upcoming. So a couple of other things I should point out is the widgets. So any do compact, any do minimal, uh, then the three scrollables, three by three, four by two, four by four. So if I drop that one in, you can see instantly it takes on the theme that that I have in the app itself. changes as I change it. Um, if I tap on something it completes it. I can tell it, what do I just complete? I can't remember now. Uh, climb Mount Everest. So I can put things in using voice and also you can turn it on and off but you get um, you get a notification bar which will scroll through today's today's things. You can obviously tick to add, or you can go to settings, um, or just go into the app itself. Um, I quite like it. I, I miss things from Astrid. So, for example. If I want a recurring thing, so if I want to wash my car uh, every Wednesday, and then I can say once a week. Now, I can't be entirely sure, but I think when I've actually done that task on the Tuesday, it bumps it over, oh, sorry, Thursday, it bumps it over to the next Thursday. I want to be reminded every Wednesday, and if I'm late, you still remind me Wednesday next week, if that makes sense. And I don't think it does that. I could be wrong, because I don't. It, it's not quite so clear when it's. I mean, it says there, 28th at nine o'clock. So I wonder if I was to say if I did it now. It's the fourth of September. Oopsie. Is fourth of September correct? Yeah. Okay. So may, maybe I'm wrong. I, I thought I'd try to move something from one, and it and it seemed to move itself back. But maybe I was just doing it wrong. Um. So there we go, any do. If you're like me looking for a, a decent to-do list manager, something that will bug you and run, this does bug you, especially, I mean, like I say, I like the any do moments. Even if you're not doing an any do moment, it'll pop up a lot of the things that have come on to today. It will pop up at sort of nine-ish or something saying, right, have you sent Frosty a birthday card? Um, and it can get annoying because <laughs> quite often I'll kind of like, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it now, remind me in an hour. Um, well, that's the thing, because when it comes up to the time that you're supposed to do it, it'll say, right, you know, have you done this? And you go, well, not, not yet. And it will say, when do you want reminding? 15 minutes, an hour, uh, three hours, or tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I quite often remind me in an hour. In the amount of times I'm going through, yeah, an hour, an hour, an hour, and an hour later, they're all coming back up again. Oh, God damn. Um, so it's good, because it will hassle you, it will remind you, it will bug you, and hopefully it will help you uh, get things done, basically. So there we go. That's Any Do. It's free on, uh, on Google Play. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.